Hello, Pisces, and thank you guys so much for tuning in for your October love read. And I think that you guys are lucky because Swayze hasn't wanted to be around in a long time, but he heard I was doing the Pisces reading, and he's like, yeah, let's freaking do this. So let's do this. Um, as a reminder, guys, I am going to be in New York October 26th and 27th doing meet and greets. This is going to be 9 to 5 uh, throughout the day. Now, what the ticket does buy you is a one-hour slot within the 9 to 5 time frame where you can have a sit down with me and we'll just chat, talk, chill out for an hour. I'll read your cards and you can bring up two friends. All right. So I'll leave everything in the description about that. Now, uh, for this love spread, I am doing it a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a general energy first and then I'm just going to do singles and then couples because I feel that uh, general is unnecessary because you should know whether or not you're in a relationship. Okay. But I will do the overall energy for those in that gray area. So let's see what's going on in the month of October for Pisces. Okay. Wow. Okay. So the energy that you guys have is the Queen of Cups. In the reverse, uh, we do have the King of Cups, uh, I mean the King of Wands in the reverse behind that, as well as the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So for some of you, you could be finding out that you're dealing possibly with the fire sign or just somebody uh, could be dishonest in a relationship. You could find out about a third party affair, someone just not being reliable, or there could be someone who is kind of power hungry in the relationship and demanding certain things, okay? Trying to abuse the power they may have over you. Um, but let's see what's going on here. So in terms of the general energy, the first card we have is the star card. So this is all about wish fulfillment, something good coming in that you've been wanting and really wishing for. And with the Ace of Wands, we have this new start happening here, okay? Something that you're going to be passionate about, um, something that's really going to spark something within you. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is something that you're really going to be working hard on. And you might just have to, you know, get out of your little hermit shell in order to get this going. But it shows you moving forward from a place of stagnation or you may have just taken a break or there may have been answers that you needed to find out, things that you just needed to get together. But now you are moving forward with a situation. Now, there's something that is starting here, but there could be a delay to it starting with the Empress card in the reverse. Okay, so let's see how this pans out. Let's go into singles first and see what's going on this month. Okay, guys. What up, Swayze? I'm so happy you could join us. We're learning to coexist because he's been a little crazy lately. All right. What is going on for single Pisces? All right, guys, let's see what's up. What up, little man? Your past, your present, and your future. My fashion accessories are not your toys, bud. All right. So the energy that we have is the five of wands in the reverse. So with the five of wands in the reverse, you guys are just doing the best that you can to avoid bullshit, to avoid problems, to avoid arguments, to avoid competition, you know, struggle with other people. And there may be a fire sign that's significant for you guys or someone that you are trying to talk to, but this could be something that leads to heartbreak, whether it's them that's breaking your heart or you that's breaking their heart. But it could just be disappointment and someone that you might walk away from because they just weren't doing it for you, all right? So let's see what's uh, going on and how this is going to play out. So the first card you guys have is the Sun card in the reverse. So with the Sun card in the reverse, there could have been unexpected information that came out. This could be you liking someone that uh, maybe you never saw yourself liking or maybe you never expected them to like you. Uh, but this is all about, you know, unexpected things coming to light. With the Nine of Swords, whatever this was, you were really in your head about it. Uh, it's something that really had you worried. And you could have been losing sleep over it. You know, you could have felt super anxious over it. 
And it was regarding a situation that really did make you happy. But, you you know, with all of this happening, you felt that there was a huge burden here that had to be released. Okay? Possibly an earth uh, energy here that was significant for you guys as well. Now, the next card we have is the strength card in the reverse where... You know, you're feeling debilitated by this. This is something that's requiring um, more resiliency than usual. Two of Wands in the reverse. So you're feeling lost with whatever situation was happening in the past. And with the World card in the reverse, bro, you're still emotionally invested in the situation. Okay? And there's a either a sense of you that wants to keep working on it or needs some sort of closure or you're just simply still... Uh, like I said, emotionally invested in it. All right, but there could have been a new start that was coming here for you. Now, the next card for your past is the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So, you know, this is an air energy, so you could have been dealing with a um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But this is just the energy of somebody who's very reckless, someone who's acting up, someone who is, you know, saying whatever the hell is on their mind, even if it's something that can get them in trouble. All right, and you're just trying to avoid this conflict at all costs. All right, and the two of swords in the reverse, with all this recklessness happening, you're like, you know what? I'm trying to avoid this problem. I don't want to deal with it. Like, my choice is to remove myself from anything that's going to be conflicting. And like I said in the last video for you guys, uh, it was the October monthly read that, you know, it, it. I'm not saying it's going to be all Pisces, but out of all the ones that I know, which are a lot, they are not people that like getting loud or in your face. It's kind of like that quiet, powerful energy that you guys tap into in order to solve a problem. But with all the Pisces I know, none of them are confrontational. And I've had beef with Pisces before, but we're still good friends now. So it's the type of thing where you guys are able to sit down, listen to people and, you know, solve things in a mature and adult way. So I can totally see you guys, you know, someone going off on you and you guys are just like slowly backing up like, all right, that's your problem. Keep it over there. All right. But um, in your present moment, you do have the eight of swords. So it's like you feel trapped in a certain situation. King of cups. And you could be very loving towards the situation because that is your energy coming in. So there could be something that's like not the best for you, but you still feel good about it. All right, with the magician, there's something here that you want to manifest and a huge change that you're undergoing, okay? And whatever this change is, it's going in a direction that you're avoiding conflict. The next card you guys have is the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, you know, again, there could be a significant fire sign in your life, okay? But this is just someone who's very, very passionate. And with the Queen of Cups here, this may be the person that you're trying to pursue and you're trying to be patient over it. And see what's going to come of it. All right. The hanged man. Just that sense of patience waiting. That sense of patience waiting to see what's going to transpire out of the situation. Okay. But there's still talk of passion here. The next card you guys have for your present moment is the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is all about new starts. But with this new start, you're going to... Um, and so you're going to gravitate away from anything that was negative, anything that could have gotten in the way, okay? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You're dropping something that was unnecessary, something that just didn't help you guys. Um, and there may be a part of you that feels like this was unbalanced. Maybe you were putting more effort into a situation than somebody else was or vice versa. But... There's something new that's starting here and someone that you're talking to, okay? But maybe you have to move away from someone in order to get this thing started. Now, the next card that you guys have, um, well, this is the first card for your future. This is Three of Wands. So something that you're waiting on, but something that is going to come in for you. All right? And with the Ten of Swords, there might be a sense of betrayal that's felt here when this thing comes in for you. It's funny because, you know, you guys have the five of pentacles in the reverse and then you have the ten of swords. So maybe it's not necessarily you guys that are going to feel betrayed because I feel and it's every single sign that's going through this. I'm kind of scared to read myself and to read my boyfriend's sign. But, um, 
yeah, there's something here this month that everyone is just releasing people and getting into something with someone new. And I, I see that for you guys because there's going to be a betrayal that's felt here. But with the five of pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who's coming out of feeling a sense of rejection. So someone's feeling better, but someone's feeling distraught. And it shows that you're getting something you've been waiting on. So maybe there's somebody who really wanted a chance with you, but your heart is just elsewhere. Okay. The next card you guys have for your future is the justice card. All right. So this is all about, uh, you know, finding a balance. Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, there could be an air energy as well that you're dealing with. But this could be you guys just uh, kind of having a cold front towards people, making sure that you're going to cut out anything that doesn't serve you. With the Emperor, you know, we continue to have this fire energy that keeps coming in. So it's like you're being strong about your decision. You know what you have to do in order to, you know, balance the skills. And it's like you're walking through your house like this because you're ready to, you know, slash anybody who's going to get in the way of your happiness right now. The last card you guys have is the moon card in the reverse where if there's anything that you didn't know, if there's any secrets that were hidden, not only have they come out at this point, but you're healing from them, Okay. There's a lot of clarity that comes with the moon card in the reverse. But with this clarity that comes out, with these secrets that come out, there's going to be someone here who's very pissed off. Talking a lot of shit and being, you know, very cruel. Yeah, Seven of Swords. It shows that, honestly, you guys are moving towards something that you're going to feel is a soulmate, a soulmate connection. But for you guys to get there, I don't know if the pain is going to be on your part or if it's going to be in someone else's part. But it shows that there is going to be disappointment, bad judgment, and possibly, you know, you losing faith in someone. But the overall result is you getting something that's really good. Yeah. You're dropping a toxic situation. For a lot of you, you're involved in a third-party situation. But here's where it ends. you got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you have the Ace of Cups, you have the King of Wands, and you accepting an offer. And someone being very pissed off at you for accepting this offer with this new person. So I just see you guys going to someone new, and someone's just heard that that's happening. Or it could be vice versa. It could be uh, your partner or whoever you were talking to going to someone new and you being upset. Okay, but I think it's for a lot of you it's going to be you guys uh, going towards somebody new. I should have just done one entire reading for all signs because it's the same exact story for every single sign so far. All right, Pisces couples. Let's see what's going on. What is happening with those Pisces who are in a relationship for the month of October? Lazy, let me work, man. Swayze's so kind of been like an ex-boyfriend that I can't get rid of. And he only loves me when it's convenient for him. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's see what's going on. Alright. So, the overall energy is the two of wands. So, this is you guys on a path that you're very passionate about with your partner. So, this is a very good energy to have. Uh, this isn't just something you're passionate about, but this is a path that you take. Okay? But behind that, be careful because you could have a fire sign around you who's kind of wearing a mask and being a little fake. The first card you guys have in the past is the justice card in the reverse. So there may have been some sort of injustice uh, in this relationship. It doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, but just something that you felt was really wrong that was done. Okay? And it had you thinking a lot about the past. Okay? But you found balance. In whatever situation this was, you found balance in it and you stood your ground. Okay? With the death card, you could have possibly left someone. Okay, or you could have just decided to go about things in a new way altogether. Okay, but you stood your ground with whatever decision and change that came. The next card you guys have for your past is what is this? The Three of Wands in the reverse. 
So with the three of wands in the reverse, um, you know, this is something that you have been waiting on or that you were waiting on or maybe someone who was waiting on you and it just didn't, you know, it didn't develop the way you wanted it to. So there's a ship that did not come in, but there was a new start here presented to you. Okay. And with the judgment card upright, I feel that there's something that you didn't go towards, whether it was your decision to not go towards it or you felt that now you have no choice but to, like, reject a certain person or reject a certain situation. Um, there was a fallout of some sort, but then I see you guys getting into something new. Okay. And it could have been you guys backing away from a fire sign, possibly, that was just very unreliable. Excuse me. The next card you guys have for your uh, past is the Five of Cups in the reverse. So it's like there's something that you have to walk away from. But whatever is starting that's new for you, it's really um, making you feel a lot better, making you feel a lot lighter. But there could be secrets attached to this, or maybe it's just you guys keeping it a secret. Eight of Cups in the reverse. So uh, whether it was on your part or your partner's part, someone from the past came back. Or there was somebody, like a past lover, that came back and it could have been causing problems and maybe arguments between the two of you. Okay. Now, the first card we have for the present moment is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is you guys feeling good. This is you guys feeling abundant. But there could be a third-party situation or there could be a celebration of some sort. Let's see which direction this goes in. Ace of Swords in the reverse. There's someone here who feels really good about something. I believe it's a third-party situation, and someone is just really upset, but someone's feeling really good. All right? If that's the case, guys, run. Run, run, run. If you feel the need to step out of your relationship, that ain't the one for you. Don't waste their time. Don't waste your time. If they're doing this shit to you, hit them with the silence. All right? Completely just cut them off. Let them feel your death. Okay? Because that's what it's going to be. They're going to die to you. Because you're just not going to engage yourself in this anymore. Right? Third-party situations are not cool. Mm -hmm. The next card we have is the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Where there's a sense that you're you're choosing not to lose sleep over this anymore. You're choosing not to worry about this anymore. But with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, um, you know, this could be someone who's kind of like a leech in your life. Or this could be you reconciling with a past lover. Okay, or your partner reconciling with the past lover. And with the Knight of Swords, yes, there could be, you know, an air energy here. But what I really feel is that you're choosing to cut off what wasn't working for you. And you're choosing not to worry about the situation anymore. Because we can't control other people. We can only control ourselves and what we do. But whatever you're cutting off and whatever is being dropped is going to lead you to happiness. And again, it could have been somebody who was promiscuous and not being honest. The next card you guys have for your present moment is the Ten of Cups in the Reverse. So with the Ten of Cups in the Reverse, you know, this is a huge sense of instability. There's something that's unstable, but there's also wish fulfillment. So that's why I'm saying I feel like a lot of you are walking away from someone to go towards something else. Yeah. Heart in two different places right here. Just thought of that Usher song. But yeah, your heart's in two different places. One of them you know is your true wish fulfillment. The other one, you just, I feel like you guys see it deteriorating. Okay? And this King of Pentacles keeps showing up at the bottom. So definitely something I got to mention could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you're dealing with. Now, the first card you have for your future is the Nine of Wands, where you're really standing your ground with the situation, but you're a bit battered up. You're a bit tired with the situation. Okay? And we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So that could be your energy talking to more than one person. That could also be your partner's energy talking to more than one person. Okay? But whatever this is, if there's somebody who's been stepping out of the relationship, it's going to come out. It's going to be them. And this is something that you're going to want to remove yourself from with the devil in the reverse. Just removing yourself from a toxic situation could be removing yourself from a Capricorn. But by removing yourself, you're finding balance within yourself again. Okay, because there's manipulation here. Again, could be an earth sign. We have the Queen of Pentacles. The last card we have here is the Queen of Wands. 
Okay, so a lot of people coming out in the spread, guys. So let's see what's going on with her. The Eight of Pentacles. So there might be something that you're working on with a fire sign in the future. Or there could be a fallout that you have because of a fire sign. Okay, let me just get one more card here. The tower in the reverse. So, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. And it shows you guys having to possibly move away from someone, but it being very hard. Okay, so with the tower in the reverse, this is someone else changing in your life. So, this would be your partner. Again, this could be vice versa. But usually when the tower card is in the reverse, um, it, it's not the querent, which is the person who the reading is for. It's the person that they may be reading about. Okay, so this is usually a change outside of you. Now, with uh, this in the reverse, your partner may be undergoing a huge change here concerning a fire sign. Okay? And it could be something that you're seeing, you know, maybe they're not reliable. Maybe you have to move away from this. But it shows a lot of stability coming in once you move away from it. But it's just, someone's going to feel very rejected and left out in the cold. And there could possibly be a fallout. Okay? So something may be ending here. Uh, it's unclear to me. I'm sorry, my love. It's unclear to me whether it's uh, on your part or, um, you know, your partner's part. But, uh, yeah, definitely someone who's walking away from a situation. Someone here I feel is going to be hurt. Okay. Your mid-month ratings will be out very, very soon. So I'm sure, uh, you know, this situation may pop up again. Now, um, as a reminder... Um, for the New York tickets, I'll leave everything in the description below. And just so you guys know, I am doing one-on-one -on -one tarot sessions now. So I will leave all of that information in the description below as well. And lastly, for any of you who are getting uh, personal readings, you know, I've said this in every video, but it's always my intention to get uh, the readings out within five days. But life happens sometimes. So please, once you get the reading and you send me an email letting me know what you need in that reading, just please give me a full 10 days to get it back to you because my back, uh, my emails just get really backed up, having to answer all these people, you know, them wanting to find out the status of their reading. Just trust me that I will get it back to you. I always do. You know, I've never left anyone hanging. Um, but yes, so go ahead and send me the email. And if by the 11th morning you guys do not have your reading, then go ahead and email me, okay? But other than that, uh, just let me work, and I'll get it to you way quicker if you just let me rock, and I let you rock, and I'll send you the email when it's ready, okay? Thank you guys so much, Pisces. I love you, and I hope that everything works out good because I am a Pisces rising in a relationship, so maybe I'll have to deal with some of this bullshit, all right? Thank you guys so much. Take care.